you know, it's not enough that they get like big deals from like, you know, cake or steak or whatever. And he went to private schools in uh, in in uh, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. Right. How, where did they get the money to afford private schools? What is the implication? He dropped out of music school and his wife dropped out of their relationship. I think relationship is a little bit of a strong word. I, yeah, and I appreciate I appreciate everybody being so understanding and so kind. And I actually, you know, when I saw the post be taken down and I saw even communities that don't like me saying, hey, guys, we shouldn't talk about peaceful people's personal life. We shouldn't pass judgment. Isn't it crazy how even after me and Mike fought so much that I was deleting threads that were going in on his personal life, even though the claims were true, that I still did it. And he even admits it here. Communities that don't like him were still policing it. But now when he's on his stream, he's gonna make unhinged claims about my family's history, about my education being paid for by slavery, and then about my wife and ex-wife. It's just dunking on me for my view count getting lower. Don't understand why that is even remotely relevant to the Twitch discourse. It's been like this for years now. Pakistan carrying out deadly military strikes on this Iran. Morning, Iran is demanding answers amid an escalating spat with Pakistan. Overnight, Pakistan launched pee. retaliatory strikes on targets in southeast. His editor adds a video of him reacting. Why? Retaliatory strikes on targets in southeastern <laughs> Iran, just across their shared border. <laughs> Pakistan claimed southeast Pakistan launched pee. retaliatory strikes on targets in southeastern Iran. <laughs> That's hilarious. Pakistan carrying out deadly military strikes on Iran. Morning, Iran is demanding answers amid an escalating. What's spat the difference? Well, he's AFK, but his editor throws in a video clip to make it look like he's still there reacting. Pakistan. Overnight, so like he gets Pakistan gets leave. retaliatory strikes on targets in southeastern <laughs> Iran, just across their shared border. Pakistan claims it took out a number of militants, but Iran says mostly women and children were killed. This is coming just a... What's the difference? Ah, uh, I get it. I'm sorry, my bad. Does Hassan or his editor always do this because they're running out of content or some shit? I have no idea. Pakistan claims it took out a number of militants, but Iran says mostly women and children were killed. Pakistan carrying out deadly military How strikes on Iran. Iran. Demanding answers amid an escalating spat with Pakistan. Overnight, Pakistan launched pee. retaliatory strikes on targets in southeastern Iran, just across their shared border. Pakistan claims it took out a number spoken. of militants, but Iran says... No, wait, hold on, hold on. Fuck you. Chat, chat. Chat. Hold on. Now, hold on. Where you live? Fuck now, hold, yeah. on. hold on, hold on, hold on. BTW change huh. shirt you smell. Are you telling me that I reacted to a edgy, edgy video about the whole thing, about the whole ordeal, and I get canceled for reacting, and you're telling me the same people are praising this guy, this editor who went after me, and he literally monetizes a video where he gets off the screen and they. They, they put a they put a fake reactor. No, I I can't I can't do it, chat. Guys, I, I can't do it. I'm so, I, chat. I'm gonna blow up. I can't do it. This is too much. Haven't they been like removing all these threads? Is this one still up? Oh, this post is locked. You know, it's not enough that they get like big deals from like you know cake or steak or whatever the. F they also have to have like you know, it's not enough that they get like big deals from like you know cake or steak or whatever the. F they also have to have like the number one slot on the platform. So when they're, that's not happening, you got to pull the f Hassan ripcord, right? But the problem is you pulled it so hard that I don't have the same juice no more. You know what I mean? Like when you panic and you say f Hassan every time and you've done that for like three years at this point, it's not going to be as good because I no longer have the same audience because you pulled the on ripcord too many times and you sucked me dry so now i don't have the fucking the juicy cow titties that you want to milk you know what i mean you got to find a new target to be like that's a bad guy you can't farm me for as 
much as uh, you know you want to when there's no more farming that you can conduct here. Okay. Oh no! Wait, this is still up, or is it locked? I don't want to be accurately descriptive in the case of no, 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 clickbait. <clears throat> People are saying that um, when, when Hassan is saying, I no longer have the same audience, I think people are saying Hassan didn't mean that like he's lost viewers, but rather that his audience isn't going to be as activated by the Hassan pull ripcord anymore, maybe? Maybe? I've never seen anyone with so much success be so unhappy. Hey, listen, money can't buy happiness. <laughs> As much as you hate to hear it, it is very true. Just as bad faith as Christopher Rufo is, just as bad faith as what uh, 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 Destiny and his orbiters are toward Hassan. They're not making arguments from a principled position of logic or any position at all. They're just desperately trying to discredit Hassan because of a psychosexual obsession. Destiny is horny for Hassan. Okay. I don't know what it's going to take for him to get relief. All right. Three hours, five minutes, and 33 seconds. And so is Vouch. Oh, is Vouch attacking Destiny or attacking Hassan? Three, five, three, three. Is that true? Well, we all know. Uh, oh, man. I don't think I have the. Bro. He can pick you up by your little toe. What are you doing? Bro, it's calling Destiny calling someone else cringe. Like, do we need to get into your personal life, man? Do we, we need to get into your life and how you've basically been humiliated. You've basically helped the red pillars. You have basically helped red pillars push misogynistic views all over the internet because you were supposed to be the b b blue pill representative and you've gotten so humiliated with your failures in your personal life that you're helping red pillars push their narrative now. That is okay. embarrassing. I mean, if you want to know who Destiny is, Destiny is basically the Alan Combs of the internet. You guys know who Alan Combs is? Alan Combs? This is some boomer shit. But basically, Alan Combs was this liberal who looked like his face was melted off, who was... Uh, Fox News used to have the show Hannity and Combs, which was a debate pervert show. Oh, my God. 317-0. What is this? Single argument from Destiny. That was just slurs. Wait, what? Oh, is that Make terrorist Turkish immigrant loser on some merchant ships as this multi millionaire guy living in West Hollywood. Well, on the other side of this, you had people defending Hassan, saying that Hassan is actually doing the public an enormous service by speaking to a regular Yemeni guy with regular. Will you talk to this guy if he was down for it? Yeah, but this guy won't talk. We've already had debates in the past. I've got a whole history of this guy, and he was actually humiliated. Like, actual. Just link the one clip of him screaming about the Biden stuff. Just actual humiliation probably more so than any other man i've debated on the internet their hopes dreams and hobbies and asking where were you i there wasn't a single argument from destiny that was just slurs and hate i like what he's saying that like destiny didn't make an argument in this other person's video that cut a clip from a larger destiny stream like why not go and look at the actual we know why. Isn't it wasn't Destiny's mom? Didn't she flee when their uh, slave plantation was taken over in the revolution in Cuba? Like, isn't Destiny's family like a recent immigrants to America after their slave plantation was liberated by communist forces? Like, 
I mean, you're in a, and he went to private schools in uh, in in uh, Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska, right? How, where did they get the money to afford private schools? What is the implication that, first of all, I had to do four years of work study to pay for my school, which was miserable, number one. Number two, that would have been like 40 years, my mom would have been like 40 years old or 30, well, she was 33 when she had me. Do you think that they, even if they did have all their slave plantation money, do you think they saved that? Like, my parents had jobs. They were both in the Air Force. In America, if they were a recent immigrant. My mom immigrated here when she was four years old or five years old. My mom had been in the Air Force for Red almost theory, thank you for probably 18 years, I think, or 15 years by the time she had me. By the time I was born. The five. What part of Cuba did we come from? Jesus Christ. 31752. 325.48. I was like the playing of the 43 second clips. And then using that to attack us on personally. That's all it is. It's not like this was an irresponsible platforming because this guy is engaged in an advocacy for white supremacy and uh, and blah, 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 blah. And by the way, Destiny has literally brought on Nazis and been buddy buddy with them. And as far as I know, they went and later, didn't they? Did they fuck his wife or no? I guess it's ex-wife now. I don't know. Either way, wasn't that part of the divorce? I thought there was a Sneeko thing. I haven't really been following. I thought that was like a source of tension within the relationship. Again, I'm sorry for talking about their personal lives, but at a certain point, you know, it, it when they're advocating for murdering uh, leftists on Twitch, it's like, what the f***? 432.53. He's got to go, man. I had this up. I must have closed it because it is weird though that a guy who dropped out of art school i mean music school suddenly became a reactionary centrist a man is a, then he was an anti-semite oh excuse me islamophobe but he led a small cult following of fail sons who became became obsessed with anti-socialism He dropped out of music school and his wife dropped out of their relationship. I think relationship is a little bit of a strong word. I think you mean their financial arrangement. Like you have this, like how old was she when they started dating? 18? Yeah, I think so. Maybe 17. I don't usually comment on people, but I think it's kind of odd when you find a, a girl that's like 18 when you're like 30. 35. And then you use, and then, you know, I mean, I more power to her. Cause she's like, we're having an open marriage. <laughs> she's like, listen, okay. I, you know, we're having an open marriage. So more power to her. Lena seems cool. I don't always agree with her, but I get it. I get it. And now she's free. I think like how long after marriage does a green card go permanent? I've heard a green card is only temporary. Is that true? In many cases, yes, because marriage is a relatively easy route to permanent residence. The USCIS grants conditional permanent residence for two years. After two years, you will need to file form 1751, remove the conditions of your residence and get a permanent green card. Huh. How long were they married? 
uh, I don't know if we even made it for two years, but technically in the United States, you can get married, apply for a green card, and I think you can divorce almost instantly. And as long as you maintain the uh, updating the US government where you are, pretty sure you can still pursue the green card and the full residency. You don't actually have to stay married for that. Also, the funniest thing in the world are people that think that Molina wants a US green card and wants to live here, which is just beyond hilarious. But What do you do to the hurtless man? He seems very sad. Uh, me and him used to have political disagreements in the past. I was still very much like a gamer back then, but because my IQ is so high and his IQ is so low, even as a gamer, I could make better political predictions than him in almost every single area um, of politics. And some of these became really explosive when it came time to predict like who was winning primaries, who was gonna win an election, where Mike was consistently wrong on almost every single thing. So on like a political, like business acumen, whatever the fuck level, he was humiliated. It was some of the most humiliating content I've ever seen in my life. And then on a personal level, there was a woman that I used to, like we would hang out, whatever, hook up a long time ago called Bad Bunny, who was super cool. Um, I really enjoyed her because she's got a really aggressive personality and I have a really aggressive personality and I get along really well with women with aggressive personalities. I think we make really good content, it gets really funny. Our streams together are really funny, it was like super cool. But unfortunately, because she's got such an aggressive personality and Mike is such a, like a beta simp, when they would do streams together, it, I actually felt bad for Mike a little bit. I don't know if I would call her abusive, but Mike definitely couldn't handle that style of communication. And it was usually just, uh, Bad Bunny, Nicole, bullying the fuck out of him for hours and hours and hours. And then this culminated in him punching a couch on stream because he was so beta soy upset about getting bullied by her for so long. But even after he punched the couch, he wouldn't admit that she was upsetting him. Um, and then eventually his obsession with her blew up so much that he tried to defend her uh, to other people on the internet in a kind of a dumb way. And then PewDiePie called him out for it. And that was the uh, ultimate humiliation. And now he's a 400 pound socialist communist who hangs around other losers that are also three or 400 pounds. And he's kind of a Hassan orbiter, except Hassan never pays attention to any of his orbiters. And so he's just like a loser basically. And I think there are a few people that um, kind of keep him afloat because he's got like Euler donor people. If, unless they're faked also, maybe the donors are fake or the subs are fake, I'm not sure. How long were they married? Two years, you say? <clears throat> 24 months? Just over two years? Hmm. America decided they were bad, and you're bad. Oh, he's also a guy that um, desperately tried to get AOC to talk to a friend of his that he assumed was progressive because he was black, but it turns out the black friend was actually a setup from Project Veritas. And you can see him walking around in the background with soy rage because he realizes that he set up his favorite politician whose shoes he wished he could steal, that he worshiped, and he f that all up too. You hate America. What a queen. Okay. What a queen. There's so much more. Anytime I give historical- Not to be condescending, but why are you never refuting those claims? Wait, which claims? Uh, one, that I have a sexual obsession with Hassan, because I don't. Um, two, that I helped Red Pillars because my relationship ended. Uh, I don't think that I was trying to hoist up the entirety of the left-leaning anti-Red Pill world because I, but with my relationship. <laughs> um, three, going to a private school because my mom had money from the plantations that her family owned um, is not true. I don't know if my family owed any plantations. I don't think they did. I have no idea. I'm not sure. And it's a little late for my mom's memory to dig into that and find out. Um, I do know that when they came to the U.S., they were poor. Um, Poor-ish. Uh, but my family's always had money problems. Uh, but then my mommy and dad were in the Air Force for 20 years. That's how they had money. I wish we had big inheritances from slave plantations. I would be based. Um, let's Nazis his wife. I'm not aware of any Nazis that have f***ed my wife. I don't think Sneeko or Nick f my wife. I don't think that's true. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about that. Uh, neither of these things happened. Um, other than Sneeko being thirsty as fuck for my wife. But um, Destiny's basically killing his wife. Was, my wife was using me for money is, I mean, that's just not true. I, how am I supposed to argue against, like, a, like, I can't prove that she didn't other than the fact that she never took money from me and I didn't like buy her anything crazy or like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say about that. Like it just didn't happen. Um, my wife used me for a green card. Um, my wife or my ex-wife hates the United States. Um, one of the reasons, uh, I guess it doesn't matter this point. One of the reasons why I flipped so hard on her is because when I saw her talking to somebody else in the background, um, one of the comments she had made was about like, she was like trying to figure out how to dump her green card shit because we were separated. And I was like, oh, so you're completely like checked out from this. That was like one of the things that I saw a month and a half ago. But yeah, Molina's always hated the United States. Like it's always been one of our biggest like fighting points. 
Um, but for a lot of people, especially Americans, especially Americans that aren't traveled or don't know anybody in other countries, uh, Americans think that everybody wants to move to the United States, like like poor South Americans or poor Eastern Europeans might want to. But the reality is, I've never in my life heard of, and maybe it happens, but I've never heard of like somebody from Germany or France or the United Kingdom or Sweden or Norway, like desperately trying to get a US green card. Like the stereotype doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really happen. Uh, or at least I haven't heard of it happening. It's just like a weird, it's just like a weird projection to try to like attack me, I guess. Um, yeah, what, did I miss anything? Oracle context, people say I'm rambling. Let's see, and then 457, 16, 457, <clears throat> By the way, that's very funny that uh, uh, Destiny says that and then tries to say China is committing a genocide. Wait, what did I say? You said Assad isn't paying attention. Why doesn't Assad collab with other socialists? Uh, a lot of it is clout oriented. Is it even that hard to immigrate to the US if you're wealthy and from another country? Uh, actually, traveling to and immigrating <clears throat> to the US is insanely fucking difficult. It's like ridiculously difficult. I don't know. We have like, it's really hard to get here legally. Even from Europe, even traveling here is really obnoxious sometimes. By the way, that's very funny that uh, uh, Destiny says that and then tries to say China is committing a genocide in against the Houthis. Like, isn't that so funny? <laughs> he tries to call Hassan. What is that little half? No. A uh, genocide uh, denier for uh, uh, saying. Wait, does anybody have the tweets from Mike's wife when Mike was cheating on his wife with Bad Bunny, who later rejected him because he was too much of a soy beta fuck? that it's it's that uh, china's policies against uh uh the uyghurs is wrong did i say houthis i mean uyghurs <laughs> did i say houthis sorry about that a little brain fart um yeah the uyghurs it's like saying oh yeah he's he he is islamophobic and he thinks that the he also the first entrance of this guy onto the political scene also was him getting disqualified from um, running for an election because he lied about being a lawyer when he wasn't um, he was trying to run against the guy, I think, that beat his mom in an election earlier. And so, in, but, but as part of his running, eventually they found out, like, wait a second, this guy's not a lawyer. He lied about it on the ballot, and then he got kicked out of the election for it. As a Republican, right? I thought he was as a Democrat. I think he was running as a Democrat here. Yeah, to be the Democratic candidate to represent the 131st Legislative District. His mom was a Republican. Oh, maybe, yeah. The amount of closets, or the amount, <laughs> yeah. The amount of skeletons in the closets of Destiny haters as well. Yeah, it's always crazy. Read the township name at the bottom. Where? Counties lower, <laughs> suck on, yeah, suck on. What do you say to the dating of an 18 year old criticism that is super common? Uh, Molina is 20, not 18. Uh, but Melina was really young. I don't know what you want me to say. Like, that's just true. She was really young. It was a huge point of contention in our relationship, always. <laughs> I mean, like, what, am I, what do you want me to say? Yeah, I was 30 and she was 20. He switches party affiliation from Republican to Democrat to run against Simmons. Oh, gotcha. Um, we could... Do I want to go over like shitting on Mike? We could always do this, but she knows what she's doing. Notice, notice that she does. This was after Bad Bunny and Mike basically fell out, and then Mike, um, PewDiePie blew up Mike for soy defending Bad Bunny. Do you remember when Mike was trying to scream at Doctor Disrespect for making like an obvious joke? Do you remember this? 
What did he say? I caught you red-handed. What, what, what? Fuck, does anybody remember this? Are you been exposed by me? <laughs> She carried herself as an older slash mature, at least publicly. Uh, for Melina, Melina was definitely like decently mature for her age, but she was still twenty. Like you can only be so mature, you know. The issue with how the issue when you're twenty isn't how like mature or immature you are. That's a factor of it. But the issue is just that like as twenty, you've only I've said this a million times the best. As a twenty year old, you've only had two years of adulting experience, maybe four if you quit high school or whatever. So even if you are mature, the reality is is from twenty to twenty five, you do a lot of growing, a lot of self discovery, et cetera, et cetera, and you find out. Um, like what you want in life, and that can change significantly from when you're 20. So even if you are mature as a 20-year-old, there's no guarantee that you'll want the same things when you're 25. <clears throat> oh, do I, I should just have like a compilation that we play. <laughs> we're gonna read the thread first, and then we're gonna go over my little friend here. Um, in case you don't know who this guy is. Where am I here? Is this in, um... Oh, Little Havana, this is my last place, last year. Are you going to have a go? So. Uh, he somehow has managed to s Shut up! You're wearing the same shirt, am I? Bro, I've got like, we're going to read black shirts, okay? Um, boom, 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 okay. The Mount Olympus meme. Bro, do we do we really wanna watch 40 minutes of mic videos? We're not watching this whole thing. We're not doing this. I can educate people about Bernie Biden electability argument. That's why I have, do you know why I have a check mark on Twitch? Because I owned someone on this debate. Now, I wasn't trying to own, I wasn't trying to win a debate, I was just trying to educate and inform, and we had a reasonable discussion before they got so emotional about getting owned and feeling like they got out-debated by their community, and they got insecure. But if they put aside the insecurity and went back and watched that debate- Let the video play and do messages? I already did all my emails and messages today, I have none to do. Eight. Again, they would see everything I said about burning Biden electability has come true. They would see that everything that I've projected has come true. And my confidence about the weakness of Joe Biden as a candidate has only been confirmed. Has only been. So one of the big things we used to debate was I felt like Bernie Sanders big problem. Ah, and I'm just like, I'm so right about everything. I felt like Bernie Sanders big problem was he'd never get over like 25, 30% support in the Democratic Party. His positions were too radical. But all, at the time, people like Mike from PA, people like Hassan were all arguing that no, actually everybody in the United States is a progressive. They just need to be told what the progressives stand for and then everybody would be progressive. And then we used to argue over polling data. Mike would be like, 74% of Americans support single parent accounts. Like, no, they don't. It depends on how you pull it. And then he would just like laugh at me and make fun of me for being an idiot that didn't understand politics because I'm a video gamer. And confirmed. Can't even fix his audio right, and I doubled his f***ing Twitter reach. And somebody on Twitch who called- I just want to get the- him screaming. Ha ha ha! Is that in here? Calls himself a political commentator, said that Delaney made a bunch of amazing pro challenges to progressive platforms and they say that they know shit about politics and they advance themselves as some sort of like knowledgeable commentator and then they get and here's the worst they get fragile when it's pointed out they're stupid and they go in attack mode as opposed to just being like you know what i'm new to politics I'm oh yeah i think mike actually dmcas a lot of vimeo and streamable clips because it'll say they used to say like dmca by michael bay or requested taken by he would go through and um yeah Maybe it's my wealth and my status and my fear of paying more taxes that's making me close my eyes to reality that Bernie Sanders is going to win this election. Bernie Sanders is going to win this election, folks. Democratic nominee. Bernie okay, so uh, just to explain a little bit, our our friend Destiny has gone onto the website Predicted.com and made a and he's making a bet. Sanders. 
Wait. Oh, no. Wait, no! Are you guys buying these? Wait, did the price change? So he's okay, buying... Okay, so how you... Under so just to explain, predict it for everybody. Basically what happens is... Ugh. You have the ability to bet for and against an event taking place. And the probability of that event taking place is represented by a number. So right here in this example, when 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 uh, Destiny purchased these shares, they said there was an 83% chance that he would not be the nominee, right, of the Democratic Party. Now, if you believe that 83% chance is too low, meaning it's he's definitely not going to be the nominee, I'm 100% sure, then you would buy those shares at 83 cents and then if when the nomination is determined this summer if bernie sanders is not the nominee you would gain from 83 percent to 100 so you get a 17 percent return right on your money now if bernie sanders is the nominee you lose it all right you lose it all so now the one thing about predicted is you're ca you're able of selling your bet you close your position before the event takes place so if it becomes more likely that bernie sanders becomes the nominee and those numbers go up is the is the screaming clip in here with the nim with nim is that in here? God, it's such a good clip. That's all I want to know. That's the only one I want to see. Then you might want to cut your losses. Cut your losses immediately. Cut your losses embarrassingly and on stream. That might be an example of what you could do. And you would get some of your money back. Now, it would be it would be giving up. It would be admitting that you were wrong for many, many, many months. And you were passionately wrong. And you were blatantly wrong in front of it. Thank you. It was this clip. So this had to do with like making predictions and everything at the time. Because I, I, even back then, I was like, oh, you should bet. If you feel so strongly about something, you should bet money on it. And I bet money. Yeah. That's what he's talking about here. And then this is me talking to Nim. Nim asks me, who do you think is going to win the primary for the Democrats? Who I want or who's going to win? Who you think is going to win? <sighs> Fuck. I think Biden. <laughs> John pointed to you, how do you have to pick one? <laughs> yeah, who's gonna win? Who do you think is gonna win? What an idiot! Fuck. What an idiot! What a stupid fuckhead! What a moron! What a dipshit! Good one. Hey, and you can't say he wasn't informed, because two months ago I told him for three hours why Bernie was gonna beat Biden. So it's not like he hadn't heard the arguments. He just has bad judgment. One more time for the people in the back. I think Biden. Then I should be. Does anyone have uh, what's? Can we, anyone have like? Okay, hold on. We need some uh, curb your enthusiasm music. Hold on. But the problem is, uh, Mike just he didn't understand any of the polling data. They, like these people would see that like a candidate is doing good, like for like Iowa or fucking New Hampshire, some bullshit. Or they'd see like a poll here. They'd see like. Oh, this is another issue that I ran into. I fought with so many morons on the internet about this. Same with a lot of Chapo dipshit house people too. Um, I remember this too. A lot of the polling that I was looking at here, first of all, I wasn't like super prescient, okay? It wasn't like I had a, some mind control or like could see the future, some bullshit. One of the issues I thought too is that Sanders was very, very, very progressive in this field. The only person that really shared much space with him maybe was Warren, okay? But I couldn't see like Bloomberg voters were not going to Sanders, okay? Buttigieg voters probably weren't going to Sanders. Klobuchar voters aren't going to Sanders. So I always thought that like Biden is probably gonna pick up a lot of these people because Sanders is, um, I, I just, I think he's like too far to the left on a lot of these things. Um, and I remember some of the tweets, I think it was one of the Chapo Trap House people, did they tweet out like, it might have been in response directly to one of my statements or the general sentiment. They were like, yeah, uh, Bernie Sanders sure is gonna be trouble in trouble when he has to run against the Biden, Buttigieg, Klobuchar, like hybrid monster or something. Like they were making fun of that analysis, like that had anything to do with the real world. And then, yeah. Um, we're gonna do this one more time. Why are, ignorant, or why are Americans so ignorantly sure of who's going to be a candidate or not? Well, this guy is because he's a partisan, right? He, he's, he doesn't actually do real analysis of anything. He's just like a partisan hack. So he just tries to analyze things that makes him feel good and then tell his fans what makes them feel good. We're going to make this a clip. Who I want or who's going to win? Who you think is going to We got to make this a clip. The funniest part, too, is I put money on the Iowa caucus and Mike ends up cashing out like halfway through the caucus when he realizes that his candidate's not going to pull through. Did he admit that he was wrong when Biden won? Uh, I don't even know. It was. Oh, I've been. The thing is, wow, this only has 900. The thing is, wait, what? Oh. 80 views and it's from Dr. Disrespect, one of the biggest streamers on the platform. And nobody cares. It's almost like you're sexist. So. I've been. The thing is, wow, this only has 980. Fuck, I don't know if you'll play the video, but. 
I think Dr. Disrespect is like making a joke here where he's saying something, he's saying something along the lines of like, uh, I don't stream for free, I need so many subs or some shit, which I think was like a meme off the Bad Bunny stuff. He was like, clearly he was just like joking. And then, views and it's from dr disrespect one of the biggest streamers on the platform and nobody cares it's almost like you're sexist it's almost like you've been exposed right now by me <laughs> qed end of debate <laughs> incels hate him I think in the beginning of this- Where's week, the number one post? He's like spitting on himself as he's like screaming. Like the reason why they're going after me, like if I have- if I Is it in the beginning of this? Hold on. <laughs> QED! Is the right f now by me? You've been exposed. Exposed! Right? It's almost like you're sexist! It's almost like you've been exposed! Right f now by me! I feel like you could see him drooling in this, but maybe I forgot. Or maybe he didn't. I feel like you could. Maybe it was a higher quality video. Maybe you can and you just can't see it well. QED! End of debate! <laughs> Incels hate him. Where's the number one post? Like, the reason why they're going after me, like, if I have, if I'm being boosted, it's because of my relation to- The older seasons of Destiny were keen on, yeah. The Twitter ratio clip. Oh, sh- Wait, never mind. It wasn't about this. It was a different thing he was screaming about. What was he even screaming about here? Oh my god, bro. And then where's the one for PewDiePie? Did I close this? I need to just have like a mic compilation every time he shits on me so that people can understand like where he's coming from. Oh, it was right here. Him and Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny basically bullied the f out of him because he is kind of, he's a little bit too much of a beta for Bad Bunny, which is okay. Bad Bunny's got a really aggressive personality. Um, their stuff culminated in, um, Bad Bunny basically spends like a whole like 10 minutes here like bullying the f out of Mike. He's like sitting next to Bad Bunny and she's like, you try to touch me? Why are you being so annoying? Blah, blah, blah. Why did you joke about this? Um, let me see if we can. The consequences. He always does this thing where he goes on his phone when he's like really intimidated or awkward around her. He goes on his phone and he like pretends to not care. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Are you Funny going watch. off or we gonna, we gonna get ready on stream? I don't know. Probably go off. We may all well turn the, I, I don't want to dox them, so I want to like not show any travel between sure, sure. is she this unaffectionate behind the camera okay i don't want to get into like cringe like dating theory especially in regards to like a particular person something that i will say is that i really like really aggressive women um however i think when two really aggressive people meet each other i think that they both like mellow out a ton so if the, so if you have a really aggressive woman and you're really aggressive you guys like i think that personalities you meet on like a good level and then like in a personal setting or especially private setting like people are generally like pretty chill and like yeah i, I feel like that's my experience that happens with most people so bad when he was always like i think pretty chill when we were like off stream and like chill. even on stream actually we were kind of chill but if you but i feel like for, I don't know why, but for women like this, it's probably true of men too. When they like feel weakness, they will just like drill into you so much. And then it's like humiliating. Like they have no breaks whatsoever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The space between. If it was my place, I would be less like, you know, it's my doxing. It's like, I don't want to dox like my friends. <laughs> That's like right. so much worse. Like I, I like, could care less the look goes up. Right, right, yeah. But still, it's just, no, the consequences of me doxing myself, I deal with those. But. Sure. Uh, no, why? It's not flirting, it's just a bad way to read what she is really trying to communicate. I say it's a lack of experience with different types of people. I agree that empathy is playing a role in the struggle, just saying. Perhaps, yeah. He's got super low emotional intelligence for whatever reason. That's the, so the chat and her are just talking about Mike and he's just like sitting there taking it because he can never defend himself. I actually felt bad, um, although this is before I realized how much of a subhuman piece of shit he was, so I don't feel bad anymore. I'm glad he got f bullied. This surprises me, because I didn't think he would have a low emotional intelligence. For me? Yeah. 
Ja. Okay. <laughs> I like it when he tries to like challenge you. Me? He's like, yeah. And he like doesn't say anything. And he's like, okay. So they're gonna be here in two minutes. Okay. Dad, mm. I'll miss you. No, no, they'll be back. Well, I know, but I'll miss them for right now. Of course we're gonna see them like tomorrow. The shitty non-sub shit stir people. Oh, well, uh, yeah. They'll be back very soon. Aw. Uh. He thinks you're kidding. He still thinks I'm kidding. He still thinks I'm kidding. I don't think you're kidding. Really? No, I don't think you're kidding. You did really? And then you gave me this fucking smile. Like it was so funny to you. You think this is all funny. And it's funny too. God, she's so brute. Dude, when Nicole feels weakness, she like goes in so hard. She never relents. And Mike is such a soy beta f He's just like such a perfect punching bag for her. Oh my God. It's very upsetting. I don't have to think you're kidding to smile. Yeah, you understand that smiling is also born out of uncomfort. So, <laughs> be fair. Maybe that's my reaction to it. Well, then your genuine reactions to things are really unlikable. Well, okay, <laughs> but... I'm gonna do a piece of advice that I myself, like, stand by and have learned over many years. Um, if you always expect someone to be, like, on your level and understanding of the same, like, emotions that you have, then you'll always be disappointed. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this is like a severe misunderstanding. But severe that's failing. sure, but like you can't like get mad at, mad okay. at a person because of that. All right, well, I just, have to, uh, I just can't hang. I just can't. I can't hang out with them then. Sure, but like those, that's emotional differences that you have. You know what I mean? Right. You have to find ways I, to I, I can hang out with them like over voice chat. But I can't hang out with them like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. too much more than that. Okay. Well, you figure out ways to reconcile those ideas. You know, or you don't like it. I don't know. It all comes down to. Where you can stand in this situation. Uh, yeah. No, okay. This is different. One thing is smiling when you're uncomfortable. Another thing, if I'm like, yeah, I'm talking about you right now, about how I'm disappointed with you, and they go, really? <laughs> but again, that's, I don't know. But it's just, it's just, it's a yeah, general. Okay, if we're gonna get super deep and be like, well, what do words any, even mean? Maybe my words mean something different. He left his wife for her? So, supposedly, I can't confirm this, and unlike Mike, uh, I won't just say things are true, but I, I, thought I read when Mike was leaving to go and hang out with her that Mike's wife or I think it was his current wife was tweeting out being upset that he had like left the kids for Christmas to go hang out with Nicole. Somebody has a screenshot of those tweets we can find out. The tweets must still be up. I feel like I remember reading those tweets. Okay, yeah, everyone's way of communicating theoretically could always be justified in their brain as being appropriate. Sure. So, sure that, but that doesn't stop you from having negative reactions to people's different Absolutely personalities. Not. I'm just giving you a tool to deal with it. I'm not saying that that's how society works. I'm just telling you how I deal with it in my own like, feelings. You know? Does he have kids? I don't know if they were his kids or if his wife already had a couple kids um, going into the relationship. I think that was it, but. Like, I, for example, like there are people- This is so weird. How would you respond to someone like Nicole were talking about you like this to the chat while you're right there? What do you mean? We'd fight about it. <laughs> that's what I would do. I think our IRL streams were really fun. We gave each other a lot of shit. Those were good ass streams, okay? People that do things that are that are distasteful to me, but have I been a process it. Bag? No. Oh no. god, does anybody have also the clip of when Mike touched Bad Bunny in real life, that first meeting? Process I process No no, I honestly wanna know. Like have no. I been beyond the payoff? I mean no. I think But not, not for me, but again, like I'm a different person. No, no, no. I'm really sorry about the story thing. No, I don't give a shit. The problem was I was I'm gonna make excuses. But I was like very, I couldn't step out of the, of the car. It literally, the was so far back. You have to understand that literally most things don't matter to me. So that's all. That's not. Yeah, that's literally a thing that doesn't matter to me. I don't um, know. I'm not like a halfway type person. Like I've had, I've had people that have like stolen thousand dollars from me. That, yeah. Those are things that bother me. Like, oh, I would never do that. Like that, the, yeah. the thing about me is, I'm either in with you or I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not a like lukewarm. Hold on, a minute and a half left. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> So what does it have to do with your, with anything you just said, with the car door stuff? Huh? And the thing about me is I'm not lukewarm with people. What does that have to do with what you were saying to Lucid? No, you're just talking about like his, his different way of like dealing with people. I think there was a segue away from that idea, right? All right. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably just telling her. Uh, my hands are red. Look how red my hand is. Isn't that weird? Now, Mike has gotten beta steamrolled 50 million times by Nicole and her alpha femme aggression. 
All right, well, what does a real alpha male do, okay? He's been watching all of his red pill stuff. He's been taking classes. Well, what does a real alpha male do? What does a real alpha male do when he wants to show how upset he is about the world? The, uh, the, uh, the a yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That just feels good. Oh my God. Yeah. It just feels good. What did you just do? Nothing. Why is this couch now moved? Did you just hit the couch? I just nudged it. Mm. Oh, shit, they're here. Let's go. Okay. Hey, bye, guys. I'll see you. Uh... <sighs> this is when Mike first met Bad Bunny. That's fine. I think that's fine. So if a guy pays for my tab... I think they... I, I'm just... I'm, I'm getting your attention. I feel like I touched, like, uh, a vampire touching holy water. Can I help you? Well, I think they want to go in. Okay. Should I close it? Yeah. That's fine. I think that's fine. So if a guy pays for my tab... I think they... I, I'm just... I'm, I'm getting your attention. I feel like I touched, like, uh, I think we might have even supported him through his marriage stuff. I don't remember. Apparently we did. Did we actually? And I appreciate everybody. Um, I, yeah, and I appreciate, I appreciate everybody being so understanding and so kind. And I actually, you know, when I saw the post be taken down and I saw even communities that don't like me saying, hey, guys, we shouldn't talk about peaceful people's personal life. We shouldn't pass judgment. Isn't it crazy how even after me and Mike fought so much that I was deleting threads that were going in on his personal life, even though the claims were true, that I still did it, and he even admits it here, communities that don't like him were still policing it. But now when he's on his stream, he's gonna make unhinged claims about my family's history, about my education being paid for by slavery, and then about my wife and ex-wife, and the reason why, isn't that kind of crazy, the difference there in character? Hey guys, we shouldn't talk about peaceful people's personal life. We shouldn't pass judgment. I gained a lot of respect for those communities. And I was actually surprised by just how wholesome so many of them were. And I was like, you know, people that I think are problematic are out there saying that this is wrong. You know, maybe maybe there's hope for us yet. So I got some I got some positives out of it too. And I appreciate everybody uh that's fine. So if a guy pays- Mike Ramey, thanks for finally doing that apology stream. You might have acted like Bad Bunny, t Bad Bunny Twitter's mom the other night, but I bet she'll forgive you after this. Wait, what tab. is this? Hold on. They, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting your attention. I feel like I touched, like, uh, a vampire touching holy water. Can I help you? I see why your, you know, wife left you. Like, this guy is, oh. let's do push-ups fat. Like, come on. And who touches women's and, and girls' hairs and sniff them. He's a fucking creep. Mm -hmm. Makes women feel uncomfortable. Puts his hands on their shoulders and necks without asking. Oh shit, I thought he was... Oh wait, was he talking about Biden? I thought he was talking about himself or he was talking about somebody talking about him. <laughs> My bad. Remember, uh, I don't know, a few months ago there was- And then this is after Bad Bunny and Mike have finally split. Bad Bunny escapes his abusive relationship. If they were even dating, I'm not even sure if it was considered dating. But then unfortunately, because he was doing that soy rage screaming about defending Bad Bunny, PewDiePie gets him in his sights. This girl that was complaining about not getting a $5 donation a or something. People just she knows what she's doing. Notice, <laughs> notice that she does that. And she's antagonizing the sense. dollars <laughs> really don't respect me as a content creator. <laughs> Never talk to Bad Bunny. If you're if you're watching this and you're like, hey, I want to stream, you know, I'm gonna stream. Learn my lesson. Learn my lesson, okay? And then the simps come to uh, to the rescue. Because she's an attractive woman. Oh, didn't for act a nice person. Sake! Did you say Which is what makes frush sexually frustrated incels. <sighs> you notice the lack of eye contact, the lack of confidence, the slap cheek <laughs> uh, posture. That's all hit all three. Simples. I'm going to send you over to somebody who I actually like. So let me try to find someone like that. <laughs>
Okay, everybody wants politics. That ain't happening there, Hackstock. That is never happening again. You can find your way over there on your own. And then I think it was after this, uh, Mike connected AOC to Project Veritas, unfortunately. It doesn't matter. One of the few times he got recognition from Hassan was making fun of him for it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I just don't want to wear a mask at the gym, dude. It's, it's death, okay? Mask at the gym, worst thing that's ever happened to mankind. And we shifted to a reality where chatters don't blame me for Project Veritas. It was a funny story and they botched it. I didn't introduce them to AOC fucking chat. Nope, don't believe it. We shifted into that reality already. Mike from PA, I can't believe you fucking introduced AOC to Project Veritas guy. I love that video, dude. Mike from PA in the background going... <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's such a beautiful video. <laughs> oh no, people are saying Mike from PV. Can we shift to when Fortnite was good? No. Anyway. So. When Mike finally got the courage to leave Bad Bunny. Oh God. <sighs> Traumatic looking at this. He checks in on the life of Mike and Mary, Mike and Bunny. So <laughs> this is the update that the um, Kino days. This is the, it's not like a six <laughs> update. Shut up, Mike show me the video. Friends, I lost one of my best a bit. Okay, so this is how you commit to a bit. And he left. Mike from PA left our server. Wow, Mike, what the actual fuck? I can't have a cutesy rom-com flirtation on stream without people freaking out. This is so sad. I lost one of my best friends because I'm one of my best friends. I was flirting with a guy. Yeah, Mike is serious. Yo, what the fuck? That's depressing. Yeah, he's one of my best friends. I'm sorry, bunny. I'm really sad. So fucking stupid. I'm going to withhold judgment. Did I have sex on stream last night or something? It's really childish. Like, what the fuck is this reaction? It's nice of you to say, but I'm going to be focusing on my stuff for a while. I need much better balance between the internet and real life. <laughs> I'm just single for the first time in a long time. Ending a long-term relationship is tough. There's a lot of pain there. Also, I'm not used to doing this kind of stuff publicly, so I'm just not up for making myself the butt of jokes in this area right now. Maybe I'm just not cut out for any part of my personal life being public and need to keep things very separate. I'm still learning. I'm also making a lot of lifestyle changes. I lived a very domestic life for a long time. Hell, I even quit drinking for the last three years. <laughs> Are we doing this again? Yeah, Pisco. I just, anytime Mike like goes into my personal life, I don't know why he does it. It's always fun to, you know, remind people. Justin strikes again. Vods of them flirting. Six hour, is that me? Six hour fucking VOD, what the fuck? Over again, like every Oh no. Oh no. Oof. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me, oh, pre-watch. Called the hospital saying, "Do I need to grab the dish?" And he said, "What the f that?" This is just shock. I um, let me do. I um, I have to buy drinks for my drinks. Really, like not. If you're a good help, I really know what's in your fucking. At least you're checking. Not your savings. You're checking. Like, what's your like liquid amount of money? It's a lot of money, Chad. Holy. Holy yikes. I'm not rushing. Why would you ask that? Oh, JS, J. Shadwald. Fuck this guy. I wish I could ban people in real life. He's waffling like trunk. I have so many trans. I know the trans, believe me. Oh, I think. <gasps> Wait, did we decide, was this Mike from PA on another account or was it one of his fans? Fuck this guy. I wish I could ban people IRL. He's waffling like Trump. I have so many trans. I know the trans, believe me, I support the things. The more this talks, the worse he gets. It's like watching someone get turned on by a car wreck in slow motion. The poll is still open. 
You like him. Such a normie dumbass. He's on the wrong end of the Dunning-Kruger curve. What a dumbass. 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 You're down to buy about 40 viewers. Hop diggity bullshit. He's overconfident because he thinks he's in. Practically broke with a high income. What an ass. Down 10 more viewers. F*** you, douchebag. I'll have no sympathy for Bunny after this. Seriously, chat, I called this in the first five minutes. 73% of the people here want your dumbass gone. It's taking a lot of willpower not to rage at this guy. Actual Squad W, unironically. Wait, was this Mike? Did we decide? Did we figure out who this was? I support the things. The more this fuck car wreck in slow-mo, army dumbass. Shut up. What a dumbass. Shut up. Pop diggity bull. Down your dumbass gone. It's taking a lot of willpower to not to rage at this guy. <laughs> he says after all this. Actual Squad W. Unironically. And then the final text of the report. Also, I didn't watch her stream with the rando, but from what I got. What a dumbass Ducker Z. Apparently his name was also Mike, and I think they were memeing and calling him Mike from WA and joked about how new Mike was better than old Mike. That might have hurt Mike from PA's feelings a lot. Either Mike from PA is being overly sensitive or Bunny meme a bit too far about new Mike being better. I could see the latter being a possibility considering how insensitive Bunny can be. Also, here are his logs from his Discord server three hours before he left Bunny's. He seemed irritated that people were talking about Bunny and that guy in his server. The final picture. This is all I have for you, boys. What's up? Just sitting here wondering what happened to all the civility in our politics. LOL. Yeah, think about the civility. I left. That guy blows. He's so boring. Lemayo. I think he can be bread pilled. He's not a researcher. Fly to Seattle right now and debate him. For Bunny's mic in life, because we all know we can only know one person with a name in life. I think he owns the company, does some research, but he just said he works in healthcare research at first. LOL, he's a literal anti-Medicare for all capitalist. He seems educated enough, but I don't know mu how much... Oh, Dude, Mike was so it. mad. Oh, I don't no. like new dad. Mike, come back. I don't like change. LOL. I'll be here doing my thing, chat. Ignoring but me essentially like my real dad. But all these people seemed so emotionally stable. Why? Alright, you can go chat about this content on her server. <laughs> I'm bored of it. There's... <sighs> okay. Anyway. This guy. Anyway, uh, that's Mike. It's been his life. Uh, he was uh, humiliated privately, humiliated publicly, humiliated in every sense of the word. And yeah, this is him now. Hanging out with a good friend Casey Tron on stream, uh, smoking weed and talking about politics and how important it is. That's Mike. Thanks for the opportunity to review your stuff. I'll always take it, Mike. That's shopped, right? Nope. That came from a uh, came from a stream. You can find the timestamp if you got it. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on. Fuck, I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry, hold on. Hold on. I just, I got linked something funny, but I don't know if I can talk about it. Give me a second and maybe we'll see. It's a, I'd say 7.5 out of 10 meme. Oh, we'll let you know when they message back. Oh, hold on. Apparently, um, apparently our good friend Hassan is a uh, super ass mad about uh, LSF. Hey, can I please get taken off LSF, like, permanently? I just don't understand why I still get harassed for two years now. Like, this has become a lolcow thing for the Destiny Brigaders at this point. It's formulaic. 
It's not about accountability or truth. It's just dunking on me for my view count getting lower. Don't understand why that is even remotely relevant to the Twitch discourse. It's been like this for years now. Hey, which thread are you talking about specifically? The one dunking on you for your lower view count has already been removed at this time as we found it violating our rules. Yeah, I saw, I assume they'll repost it again later and brigade it about how the mods are protecting me or some shit. The point is it's all LSF is for many, a vector to prop up attacks. Just no utility bound, a place to try and get people to join a lol cow forum on another subreddit. For me, I mean, for others it's seemingly fine. It's been way worse since the gambling drama, which got XQC to also start doing the same shit. I don't want to be a lol cow anymore. <laughs> you could just like not read LSF. Like you can do that, right? You can just like not go to the subreddit. And not like read it. That is possible. Imagine you're like... Making seven figures a year as a propaganda streamer that does no homework or research on anything he talks about, you get all these cool connections. You get to play Among Us with AOC, but every night, all you do is you stay up in bed with your cell phone, reading LSF threads, molding hard, okay? You must be on an IV of finasteride or whatever at this point to prevent those hair follicles from rotting out of his skull. He's molding so much. We have a sippy sippy soylent. One second. Ironic coming from Destiny. How does it make sense in any size, shape, or form? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. How many times have I cried to the LSF mods asking for them to remove a threat about me? You know what has to do with the boothies? Your mom. Canvassing. Oh, guys. Oh my god. Hey guys, show up and go canvas. Are you so excited? I'm so excited. We're gonna be here in Ohio. Click the link. Go to the subreddit post, guys. We uh, we have somebody confirmed. Unless, like, obviously something happens. Here you go. Know. Talking to the mic real quick while you're promoting it. Do you want to know... Do you want to know who's coming out? Who's coming out? Give us some names. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is so natural and not ham-fisted at all. Go ahead. You look so excited. I am excited. Give us names. Go ahead. We're excited. His name's Bo. Bo who? Bo of the fifth column. The, yeah, that guy? Do you know who that is? I do. You do? Yeah, why? Cause he, what do you mean why? I just said he's coming out. Oh, cool, wow. Do you like him? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. He's got the big beard? I, I very much, I'm very well aware of who this guy How is. How do you yeah. feel about that? That'll be uh, fun, yeah. Will it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> What's your face? <laughs> Um, he's just a, yeah. Um, cool. What's he going to be doing there? Will people get to see him and shake his hand? Yeah. Even you can shake his hand. You can give him a hug if you want to. Mm hmm Yeah. What's your shirt today? Is it a DGG shirt or is it your MLK shirt? It's my black shirt. Okay. Um, black shirt. what else? Who else is going to, do we have anybody else there confirmed that people can go and visit and see and... Loner box is confirmed. Boner box? Boner box. Really? Yeah. How long is it gonna be in the US for? Uh, four days. Jesus. You better get all your snuggles in right away. Okay, that's actually cool. I'm hyped for that. All right. I know. Loner I Box know. will be there. Loner Box will be there. Josiah will be there. Cool. Pondering politics. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And IRI will be there. Okay, I'm really important. Cool. Yeah, Darius is gonna be there now. It's confirmed. <sighs> okay. What? How do you feel about that? That uh, is interesting. I don't think I would promote that, but okay, he'll be there. <laughs> Uh, let's see who else is going to be there. Abba said no. He doesn't do American politics. Loser. Yeah. Cringe. Big cringe. Um, Farah's going to come. Friend Farah's coming. What the, okay. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. We really have everybody showing up to this, huh? Everyone is coming out. Wow. Aren't well, you so excited? Here you go, guys. This is going to be quite the event. There's <laughs> going to be so much drama going on here. You guys, don't you want to be part of that? Don't you want to be part of the future Reddit post? Might be in the background. Zero. Zero drama. And some of the pictures that'll be passed around in infamy. True. After true, this. True. Uh, Many pictures. There's going to be probably some news media stations coming out. Uh huh. Cool. To interview you. Cool. So you have to wear one of your nice shirts. Oh, the like, um, not a cult, like that shirt. What? The shirt that says not a cult. 
I don't. I didn't know. I don't actually know any of your shirts. Yeah. I don't have them well, like, memorized. That's weird. I'll wear something comfy. Do you know any? Yeah, don't wear sweats. Uh, just for like one of the days. We'll see. Uh oh. I'm getting a Phone call. call. Good luck. 